Hello everyone, welcome to the 12th tutorial on a beginner's guide on how to twin motion. So, in today's video, I will be teaching you how to create images as well as exporting them. As you see, here's a sample. Then here's another one. Looks pretty amazing, right? Let's do it again one more time. This and this. Alright, let's do this. So, to start off, we're gonna go here again in the dock. At this border right here, which is the media, click that, go to image. And here, once you press this button right here, it immediately creates an image for us. Now, that position that we had initially is already the first image that's already made. It's kind of like a screenshot. So, if I were to click that, it would immediately teleport me back to the same place. So, before you click this image, make sure that the position you're in is the screenshot or the picture that you want. So, for example, if I were to go something through here, for example, like this, and I wanted this exact screenshot or this exact picture, I'm going to click this. Now, I have two pictures. The first one, which is this, and this one. So let's go ahead and delete the first one that we made and let's look for a better shot. Here should be good, I guess. Let's take a screenshot together with the foliage or the greenery and this one. Now, actually, we're already done. We can already use this two pitch right here and have them exported. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's minimize this, escape. Now, back again at the dock, here, the export. Here, we have the choice of whichever media that we had. So, of course, we had image, right? Let's click this one. Either select all or click them one by one. Once that is done, click here to start the export. Now, you have a folder of your choice. I saved mine in desktop. Now, just click this one. And now, it's just a waiting game. So, let's wait for it. It shouldn't take that long. With that is done, let's open the folder. And it's this. So, let's go ahead and try that. Hmm. Looks good, right? Let's try the other one. Look at that. That looks very nice. Everything seems photorealistic, doesn't it? But we're actually not yet done. We have the option of doing some modifications to our picture. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's remove this and delete this anymore. Okay, now let's go back to our twin motion. Okay, so go back here. Go back to image. If you hover your mouse to any image, you're going to see some options. If you click this, it allows you to either rename, delete, or duplicate the existing image. This has a refresh. And next, the most important thing is the, the more button. So let's go here. And here, we have the option to do a lot of things. For example, in format, this should be a good practice to be the very first one you try to modify. So. Right now, I'm using Full HD. Let's see what the options are for us. We've got 4K and 2K. I have 2K currently since, you know, I don't need that much resolution for mine. Also, we have the custom option. If you click here and use more, it will give us the capability to modify it on our own. So let's say I want a vertical orientation. So I'm going to go with 1080 and 920. I, there we go. I know it looks bad, right? We can actually fix that if we go to go back to format. No nope. image here. Go to camera. We can change our field of view to make that look much more better by bring it more closer like this. I think 60 should be a good field of view for vertical orientations. Right. Next up, the depth of field there so it's kind of like a game now everything far from us is being blurred out next is parallelism 
difficult to see like this but if we had a tree nearby us like this and if i were to turn on parallel you will see the difference right so i usually like to keep mine on next is the vignetting it's for people with nausea i don't know if you can see the difference but the edges are being darkened so let's go back to 4d and my favorite the visual effects here we can make what it looks like to a clay see that looks icky doesn't it now let's turn that off let's go back to visual effect and let's go to filters here we have plenty of options for us to play around such as 8-bit hold up it's very difficult to see let's make it to 2k actually if you look at it 4k and 2k doesn't really have that much difference doesn't it you can only see the difference if you have a really really wide and big monitor so anyway let's make it 2k go back to image this one camera visual effects filter here we have plenty of options for us as you see here and what we and what you've seen earlier i was actually using hidden line 2 or hidden line 1 i like this both also line heavy kind of difficult to see with depth of field on let's turn it off and let's make this to 90 there kind of looks like a borderlands graphic doesn't it all right let's try other options go back to image weather of course you've already know this one we've tackled this before rainy to snow the growth of the trees or the age the effects we've tackled this before as well turning off and on the ocean next up location capability to change daytime the month sun or compass rotation in the background which is right here and the capability to move them oh hold on here you go man that's hard to click there all right what's next lighting of course you remember the sky dome which is this one to have a photorealistic hd like sky with the capability to control the rotation or was the rotation again ah this one all right so going back to image and lastly render now here this will be for another video but if i were to click this on and click here you will see that there's a gauge here once this complete you will see our picture much much more better so let's give it a moment. There. I don't know if you see the difference, but Path Tracer gives us a much more better render compared to the usual one. So anyway, let's turn that off. My laptop's getting hot. Now going back to image. So we've played around with that. Let's try to export what we've done now. Go back here, multi. I believe we didn't do much change to this one, but anyway, let's use it. Now export, same folder, again the waiting game, there's the one we made, looks cool right, let's check the other one, not much of a difference since we didn't really do anything but this one looks better doesn't it, so alright, okay, I guess that's it for this image tutorial. Next up, we'll tackle how to make videos. That's going to be a lot of fun. So, for questions and suggestions, please do comment below. And if you find this tutorial helpful, do support me by liking and subscribing. Thank you very much, guys. You were great. I'll see you next time.